Damn. This is the house across the road on my CCTV camera. That's his floodlight. That's my driveway there. Anybody coming in and out, my driveway is blinded by that floodlight. My front door is to the right of the the vision of the camera you can see here now. So as soon as I come out my front door, I'm blinded by it. I've got very pale blue eyes with yellow centers, which means our lights make it really hard for me to see, like sunlight and bright lights like that. And um, so he's got brown eyes, so he wouldn't care, doesn't give a shit. He's an immigrant, public housing, public housing, um, public offices support his activities, which include harassing me with his floodlight, harassing me with a TV camera that's just up here on the on the eaves there, also pointing at my front door and my driveway. And he's been, I've seen him uh, on my CCTV sitting on the windowsill there videoing me when I've arrived home with my bicycle. And the only reason I have to ride a bicycle is because him and his mates have lied about me in government record and I've had my licence illegally cancelled. So this is the shit that goes on in Australia. Oh, and this bloke's also got his name on the electoral roll as a dead person. Like I said, he's an immigrant, but he's got a dead person on the electoral roll at his address. Oh, the dead person? Mr Alexander Paul. Paul is the last name. His first name's Paul according to state housing. The house across the road on my CCTV camera. Uh, this um, That's my driveway you can see there with a yellow lid rubbish bin. This is just coming on dusk. Uh, like and is, That's motion centred, that uh, light. I've been out in the front yard and I've been moving stuff around and they've turned the front light on me with no cars going past. He's, um, his front door's there. He's got a CCTV camera pointing down my driveway. There's no gate there. That ends there. That's just a fence. He's, he, he's just put that up recently. Uh, it's got spikes on the top. That's a two, four hundred high fence. You're only supposed to have a, um, a 1.2 fence out the front there. And as you can see, he's turned the light off. And I'll join this one with the other video I've made a little bit earlier. The glow that you can see there now is his CCTV camera location that's pointed directly down my driveway. There's no point of having one there. He doesn't have anything there that accesses his front door. That's a solid fence, as I said. And when I said public officers, government public officers support him in his crimes to harm me, to defame me and harass me, that includes police. It looks like in the night time. It's like as glowy as you can see by a camera. It's blinding when you're in the driveway. Even someone who's got darker eyes than me find it blinding. It's uh, impossible. You just cannot see where your feet are walking down the driveway. Completely impossible. It's a twin floodlight. Like I said, he's had it there since 2016 because they complained that he cut down a street tree there. So he's been harassing me ever since 2016. As you can see, now he's got two CCTV cameras pointing at my house. Two. That one's pointing a little bit that way, angled that way, over towards my letterbox area. But that one you can see by the angle of the light and how it's much brighter. Brighter. It's pointing straight at me. Straight at me. At my driveway my front door that gets actually a better angle at my front door so if that's not keeping me under surveillance mr uh, police commissioner st even i'd like to know what is and to establish that it is actually a um cctv camera there and there you can't see my finger i have night vision on the still on this phone camera but not on the video this is um on the video i'm underneath the camera my camera